All right, everybody. Hey, what's up? This is James. <clears throat> I'm doing a Friday morning podcast. Uh, something I never really do before. Can't really uh, think of what to talk about, but uh, yeah, here we are. How is everybody doing? Beautiful uh, March 13th around here. Everyone's fucking freaking out about the coronavirus, yeah? You know? In a beautiful uh, California right now. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Just talking about what's going on in the world. <sighs> um, shit. Yeah, lately, uh... Yeah, everyone's freaking about it, out about the coronavirus. I personally think it's because the election is going on right now. And once that shit's over, coronavirus ain't gonna fucking exist. But, you know, that's just one person's opinion. But, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see if we all die or not. But uh, right now, I am smoking. Not cigarettes. I quit cigarettes about uh over ninety eight over ninety days ago. All I smoke is weed now. And uh yeah. A lot better. That's for sure. <clears throat> One second. If anyone's wondering, I just woke up about probably like 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago. I just decided might as well just start my fucking podcast idea. I don't know where it's going to go, how I'm going to do it, but uh, yeah, I like listening to Bill Burr a lot in the morning. I mean, he just, he talks about sports a lot, you know, for me, I'm not really a sports fan, I love sports, but, like, I don't know, football's just not really my thing. So, you know what we're gonna do? We are gonna talk about skateboarding. So, skateboarding. Yesterday, I went to my local skateboard shop and bought me a flight deck by Pal Peralta. So far, it looks fucking tits. I mean, that's all I could say. I haven't skated it yet. It's been a little under the weather. So, you know, just kind of waiting it out. Maybe later on today I can go out and skate it. That's what I'm hoping. <coughs> but, uh, yeah, who knows? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Come on. The one fucking thing I want? I you son of a bitch. All right, I'll be right back. One second. One second. All right, I'm back, and I've got my Maui. Wowie! Yeah. Um, it's just some uh, vape cartridge that I bought from the store. Um, you know, none of this is paid promotion or anything, but there's just me giving shout-out. Brass Knuckles. You know, I'm shouting out to them, because... Uh, Apparently, they've been out of business for a while for <clears throat> the cartridge game. And, uh, yeah, I bought this and checked it out. Didn't even realize, you know, oh, it hit pretty good. It was $19 for a gram of wax. That right there should have been, you know, kind of a red flag. But <sighs> me, I'm a bargain hunter. I don't really care. Wax is wax. Money is money. Whatever the fuck, you know. So, uh, yeah. Bought this, $19 a gram. Uh, Maui Wow tastes just like fucking pineapples. But the thing is, is it's been sitting... It, the manufacture date... Uh, a fucking long time ago. Uh, what was it? The packaging date was June. June 2019. So it's been sitting in this package for almost a year now. Until I came up and bought it. 
for $19 and started smoking it up. Well, you know what? Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. I, uh... Yeah, like I... I started doing the vape cartridges because it's something that's easy. It's on the go. Um, I can't really, you know, pack a bowl everywhere I'm going or, you know, get shit ready all the time. So it's like, hey, you just pull out the vape pen just fucking take a quick hit. You're good to go. Tastes just like fucking pineapples. It's great. I don't know why people talk shit on brass knuckles, and maybe they were just like, oh, they've been out for a while, and maybe they just know, don't know anything about the game. But, uh, yeah, fucking, they look cool. I mean, I think they're dope, because the, the tip and the point where you put into that comes in contact with the coil, it's all brass. And then your wax is like, golden, so it looks cool, because they're all, like, they're the same color, almost, but, I don't know, that's just aesthetically pleasing to me, fucking podcast, all right, so, I had things to talk about, they were on my notes, I don't know if they're still here. They're on my old notes. So yeah, skateboarding and everything. Uh, that's the main thing I want to talk about. Yeah, the Palparata deck. So back to that. Yeah, I haven't really you know gotten into it much. Um, I fucking, it's just something new that I wanted to try. The deck is ridiculous. Okay, so I go to the Modesto Skate Park. And, not skate park, skate shop, jeez. And I go in there and, like, looking for a new deck. I'm thinking I'm going to spend, like, oh, oh like 50 bucks at the most on deck. But the fucking flight decks, dude. It's like, oh, yeah, you know, usually skate at nine. Yeah, that's right. Ugh, fuck, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just still waking up. Ugh, yeah, I usually skate at nine. Which I don't know how the fuck I did for the longest time, for, like, the better part of a year. Um, yeah, I switched it up. I was like, oh, I'm going to go back down to eight five, And I uh, saw this Plan B board. It looked pretty sick. I was like, yeah, let me check that out. Um, and then I saw the Pal Peralta deck, or no, y y well, first I get, I uh, asked for an 875, and he gave me one of those, it was a Pal Peralta, and then I asked for an 85, then he gave me the Plan B, but they're completely different decks, I'd never seen a Pal Peralta flight deck before, like, I'd seen them, you know, online and shit, people skating them on YouTube videos, but I've never actually, like, seen it, like, never held one before, so... I was like, what the hell is the difference between this? Why is this, like, shaped different? You know, why is it... And it's got the carbon fiber. I was like, oh, shit, this is a flight deck. And, uh... Yeah, so... Um... I was like, well, you got the 875, and you got... I was like, let me get the fucking 85 and the Pal Peralta, because I was holding an 87 and a Pal Peralta and an 85 and a Plan B. And, uh... I liked, how, I liked the size of the 85 Plan B, but I didn't like, you know... I wanted to try out the flight deck. So, dude finds me one. It's like a yellowish orange color. Pulls it down. I was like, eh, it's not really my style, but you know what? It's, it's different, you know? It's just, all I really wanted was the board. I don't really care about the, gra the graphic. I ain't gonna be fucking looking at the graphic, like, ever. Like, I'm just not like I'm doing dark slides every fucking trick, so. Uh, I was happy with it, so I'm right. I bought that. Oh, fuck. Ah, sorry, folks. I keep yawning. Like I said, I just woke up. Ugh. Yeah. I was happy with it. Um. Anyway, yeah, he brings that over. And I was like, why the fuck? How much is that? And I'm like, holy shit, $80. I'm like, that's like buying a full complete, pretty much. 
But, mind you, there is a one sheet, two sheets of carbon fiber in the board. So, what they did was, they, they skateboards are usually made up of seven plies. And, uh, I think they're usually made out of maple, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, what Pal Peralta does is, the why their flight deck's so awesome. I mean, that's, this is, you know, from other people's mouths, not really mine. I can't really say that they're awesome, because I don't really skate it much, but, anyways... Why people say they're so awesome, why they're so cool, why they're so different is because they put a sheet of carbon fiber on the top layer and a sheet of carbon fiber near the bottom layer. <clears throat> so it adds for stability and a little bit more lightweight because, you know, it's not wood. Um, I don't know if that adds to the pop, it takes away from the pop, well, you know, what it does for the skateboard, but uh, the shape's a little different. It looks pretty cool. Um, looks like something I could get into for sure. Um, I mean, whether or not I could, I'm gonna have to because I bought an eighty dollar fucking skateboard. So I'm gonna have to fucking do with what I got for a while. I think it's gonna be cool though. I think it's gonna be a good board. Anyways, um. Yeah, besides that, um, yeah, I've been watching a lot of, uh, you know, Braille skating guys. Those guys are pretty cool. Uh, shout out to them. They're the ones who got me into skateboarding. Uh, again, you know, I used to watch them a lot when I, not them, I used to watch skateboarders a lot when I was younger, watching the Baker videos, the Almost videos, the fucking um, Element video, like all those videos, watching them just growing up. I don't even remember how I got a hold of them. Like, my friends had them, or, like, my brother had them. And we would just watch them over and over and over and over again. And I remember watching, I think it was the the Baker video. I can't, I think it was uh, Baker 1 or 2. Yeah, I just remember watching, um, I think it's, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to sound stupid, but Andrew Reynolds, I believe, is one of the skaters for Baker, and, yeah, I just remember watching him just jump down stuff and, like, how easy he made it look. And, like, he would just freaking, oh, my God, like, backside flip or frontside flip is what I would usually see him do. But, yeah, just frontside flip or, like, big 180s down stair sets. And it just made it look so easy. And I'm just like, that's what I want to do. That's, I want to fucking do that, you know? Um, and... You know, I've tried a couple stair sets here and there. The biggest I've gone is maybe, like, so, like, a three block, you know? Everyone's always got, like, the famous three block. I don't know where, like, the three block came around, but, like, every place has got it now. Like, you go to a town, and you ask someone's like, oh, where's the three block? Oh, we got a three block. Yeah, everyone's got a fucking three block. Um, I got a three block at my old middle, or my old fucking elementary school, and I got a three block at the other elementary school. Like, there's a three block everywhere. There's a three block at the skate shop, at the skate park. There's always a three block. I don't know how it came around, but anyways. So to me, that looks to be about, I would say, it's probably like a seven stair or something like that. Eight stair, I don't know. That's probably like the biggest I've ever jumped, but like, What's weird to me is, like, if I were to go try an actual eight stair, I'd probably freak out. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, it's different. I think it's because, like, if it's not as open. You know, most stair sets, they're, like, hella, hella narrow. And, you know, to me, it's just weird, you know, like, I don't know. Um, I, just got, I guess I just got to get over that fear of, you know, trying to jump through, like, a little narrow space. But... It really shouldn't be that difficult. I've done it before, but I fucked my ankles up so many times. But and then Jeff Riley up from Flip, oh him too. He's such a big inspiration. That dude, oh my god! Every time that fool would skate, he'd hurt himself and just keep going and going. But it's like that's every skater; they're always hurting themselves and going and going. That's what 
attracted me to skateboarding is like, you know, these guys just keep persisting no matter what, you know, no matter what, and it's like not, and you know, no matter no matter what anyone tells them, like security or anything, it's like fuck you, man. I'm trying to do my own thing. They just kept going. It's like that's what it's like. People are like, oh, skateboarding doesn't teach you anything. That teaches you persistence. It teaches you how to fail. It teaches you how to succeed, and be happy in what you fucking have worked for. You know. But uh, that's just one guy's opinion. Yeah. So. Yeah, skateboarding for me, it's just been, that's how it's been for me. That's what I feel about it. That's how I, uh, that's how I look at it. And it's going to be in the Olympics now. That's just fucking crazy. Shout out to the fucking Olympics for having the fucking skateboarding in there. I can't wait. You know, Andy Anderson, I'm pretty sure, is going to be one of the fucking contenders for, I don't know, Canada, America, whatever the hell he's, whoever the hell he's going for. That dude kills the game. I don't know if you've ever seen Andy Anderson if I can do anything, but that dude is amazing. He's like Rodney Mullen style, but like he's he can do so much other shit. He's so good at transition, he's so good at everything, dude. This kid will kill it. He's as I say kid because he's like two, probably three years younger than me. And I'm almost 26, so, yeah, this kid will fucking shred it, and he does shred it, every day, all the time, anytime, what's up, fuck yeah, <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, he's just got the crazy ass style, he does, like, the, like, like, you, you see him, he'll do some freestyle stuff, that's what, I, that's what I like. Um, but mostly it's not even just a freestyle stuff, like, the way he rides rails, the way he does anything, like, he'll get up on, like, the tip of a rail and, like, do a knot of spin or whatever and then fucking slide down in, and it's like, what the fuck, who does that? <laughs> it's so crazy. It's, it's, it's unreal watching this guy skate. And, uh, NKA videos on YouTube, shout out to them, that he has a three- Looks like a three-part video about the best of Andy Anderson. I've yet to watch it. But it looks pretty insane. Let me see. Sorry, guys. I'm a little a little sick. Just getting over it. Uh. Alright, so I have my tablet... A lot of notifications. All right, what else we got? So, I know you guys can't see, but uh, I don't know. You guys can just kind of hear me talk about it. Let me see, Andy Anderson. This guy's just... Okay, here we go. Part 1. NKA Vid Skateboarding. Best of Andy Anderson. Part 1. I can't believe it. Whoa, Thanks come on, Ads. Billy was raised by wolves. Yeah. Which yeah. one's your neither? Oh, that's her right there. Oh, gosh. No. Oh. I can't believe how easy it was to save the Geico. Geico. Believe it. <laughs> Fuck that advertisement. See like that, like shit like that. He just did a 50-50, like front foot impossible out. Like, come on, dude. Okay, that was just a regular board play. That ain't that cool. 50-50, 360 shove it, one foot land. Blunt to crooked, blunt slide to crooked grind. This is the guy who made me want to get my power off the flight deck. And I want his signature shaped board. But he, they don't make him yet, and it's pissing me off because this guy has the coolest deck ever. Customly built the way he wants it built because it's the way he skates. And oh my god, like. 
I'm like fanboying right now, but yeah, he's just doing a bunch of like freestyle tricks right now. Sorry, I had to pause it for a second because I thought someone was coming out in the garage, but yeah. Well, here we are. Back to it. And this guy is just still killing it. Just still murdering it. Does like 5 0 Smith, feeble, fucking blunt slide all in one. Like, jump on. It's not fucking real. Smith 50 50 nose grind. And then he hits a fucking full stair set handrail like it's nothing. Like, this guy can do everything. Vert, freestyle, street. Oh my god, like, this guy is just unreal. Shout out to Andy Anderson if this dude ever fucking, if I could ever meet this dude. Um, I mean, he's been to Braille Skateboarding Warehouse a couple times, but I mean, that's probably the closest I could ever get to meeting that dude. It's just never, timing. timing's never right, so. But yeah. I definitely want to go some, like, to a skate park pretty soon. Probably the Fremont skate park. Go see if I could, I don't know, get a nice session over there. Oh, we got another ad. What do you know about ads? Nothing. Fucking ad. And this guy, like now he's in a bowl. So yeah, back like to the vert part. Oh, Smith, fucking just all the way around the bowl, pretty much. Air out, and then to feeble. He just killing the game, dude. I mean, sure, he did a little nice little air walk. There's people who are better than him for sure, like at vert. But like, for him to be this good at like everything to have this much skill at vert under the belt and then fucking freestyle and then street like it's all it's crazy wow. yeah. I could be one thing if he was just a vert skater and be like okay that's all right that's pretty cool but no this fool does everything The longest board slide across the whole fucking bowl. How do you just foot plant like that with that much speed without breaking your fucking leg? That shit's insane to me. That guy's, okay, that, yeah, that guy's just too much. Anyways, yeah, he just kills the game. He's fucking always just, like, backside flipping, stair sets, fucking dozen, the rails and everything. He, he's got it all, and this guy's gonna be in the Olympics, and I can't wait. And, uh, yeah, it's gonna be fucking sick. I don't know. Who else is competing? I know. I know. I think of one person from the Japanese team. Uh, he kills it. He's fucking pretty good. But I uh, like as from other countries and shit. I don't know. I guess we'll see. And I just got a message. So, you know, that just happens.
Yeah, we'll answer that later. Hold on. Pause. One second. Anywho's all right, now I'm back. Um yeah, took care of that, so what the fuck was that? Um fuck. Yeah, Andy Anderson, yeah, dude's gonna be in Olympics, blah blah blah. Yeah, and uh yeah, don't know who else is gonna be in Olympics. We'll find out for skateboarding. Uh where was I? What was I talking about? Uh, yeah, um, you know, that's, I'm sorry guys, I, I, I gotta cut it short, yet, um, I'm on 26 minutes, it's not bad for the first go, anyways, thanks for tuning in, whoever did tune in, uh, yeah, next time I'm gonna talk more skateboarding. Uh, you know, talk more about, uh, uh, maybe I, you know, Andrew Reynolds or whatever, uh, whatever you guys want to hear about, uh, let me know, I could make this just a podcast about skateboarding, you know, my favorite things about skateboarding, and then maybe, you know, I'll start doing video, I'll show these videos, uh, if I can, I don't know if I can, um, I don't know. But yeah, we'll see. We'll show me like what I don't know, watching them, talking about him. Oh, Jason Park, that guy's amazing too. I hope he's. I don't know if he's someone who'd actually be in the Olympics, but he's a really good skater. That guy does some awkward stuff, and it's fucking cool to watch him fucking skate. Yeah, shout out to Jason Park. Shout out to the Braille team. All them. Those guys are killing the game right now. Everyone, skateboarding deserves a shout out because skating is fucking awesome. And uh, yeah, that's all I would like to do. Uh, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. If you guys want to hear more, let me know. Uh, leave some comments. If not, then uh, fuck off. <laughs>